When Mei Anlan staged the coup on 1st of February, he thought if he arrested and all the officials and activists across the country, he could stop protests. But he was wrong. We have seen the biggest protest in the past 30 years, and the civil disobedience movement in my country is growing. People from different backgrounds, ethnicities and religions are coming together to protest because we don't want to live under another military dictatorship. But the military is using increased violence against the peaceful protesters, and we now have more than 450 people being killed, and more than 2,500 people are behind bars. Young people in my countries are going out there protesting and fighting for federal democracy rather than pursuing their dreams, but they are being shot in the head and they are being arrested for peacefully protesting. Since the coup started, universities, schools and hospitals in the country are being closed. But it's not only that, the military is also using those universities and schools as their makeshift camp across the country. Teachers, doctors and other civil servants are under increased pressure by the military to go back to work and to stop taking part in the civil disobedience movement. If they refuse, they get arrested. And when they get arrested, their license will be revoked. And when they come out, they will have criminal record, which will make it impossible for them to go back to work or to find any jobs at all. And their children will not be able to become doctors, teachers, or any other civil servants in my country because of their parents' criminal record. And that's according to the law in Burma. So there are so many people fleeing to the ethnic armed control area to escape arrest. But there is a growing number of IDPs in ethnic areas because the military is also attacking ethnic civilians and bombing them every day in Karen State and in Gachin State. These IDPs have no shelter, no food, and children have no education at all. And they have to run and hide every day because they worry that their villages and their areas will be bombed by the military. My country is on a very long journey towards federal democracy where all the individual rights are respected. And we need international assistance and international help. Peaceful protesters in my countries are holding out the signs written in English because they want the help from the international community. We want to live in a country where we don't have to worry about being arrested for speaking out. We want to live in a country where children can go to school freely without having to worry about their school being bombed. And we want to go to work without worrying about being arrested or being killed. It's a very long journey and we need international community help and international organizations assistance. So please help us in any way that you can. Thank you.